Here's an example of a computer program that can be written for the Mac. In this example, we're going to do a standard mortgage calculator. You find many of these on the web, and usually they are like this. You put in the amount of the mortgage, the term in years, and the annual interest rate, and the monthly payment will be computed. So let's zoom in so we can see this better, and suppose we compute this. So we have an annual interest rate of 5%. We're assuming it's compounded monthly. So the amount of monthly payment made at the end of each month for 30 years that would be necessary to pay off this loan is $1,449.42. So there are many mortgage calculators out there that do this on the web. And suppose, however, we do a different twist on this and we try to solve for the mortgage amount. So this time we'll assume that we are given that the term in years is 30, annual interest rate compounded monthly is 5%, and the monthly payment is 1449.42. What mortgage amount would that be sufficient to pay off? So if we click Compute, we get a number that is slightly larger than $270,000. And this is due to rounding, that actually the monthly payment is sufficient to cover a mortgage of that amount. Now, we can also make the other two values be unknowns. Let's say we didn't know the term in years, and to change things, Let's put the mortgage amount back to $270,000, but let's suppose that everything else was the same except that we increased the monthly payment to, let's say, $1,600. And suppose now our question is, how many years would it take to pay off that mortgage? So if we hit Compute, then we get 24 years instead of 30. But now let's try something a little different. Let's assume that uh, the monthly payment is only $1,000. How long would it take to pay it off? So I will put 1,000 here, and we will blank out the term in years. Now when we click the Compute button, we get a message saying payment too low. What that means is if you made monthly payments of $1,000 a month based on an annual interest rate of 5%, it would not ever be sufficient to cover the mortgage of $270,000. So that is one of these things you have to think of when you're writing this program, where you put in values that are impossible to solve for. Now let's put this back at 30 years, but now let's keep the monthly payment at $1,000 and let's delete the annual interest rate to make the system solve for it. So here, what we are asking for is, if we have a monthly payment of $1,000 and we're gonna pay that for 30 years, and if we know that there's some interest rate such that that would be sufficient, what is that interest rate? So if we do a compute, we get 2.015. Now, what's going on behind the scenes here and what I haven't shown is what process is involved to solve for that interest rate. Uh, I think there's not a closed form solution for that computation. What I did when I wrote this problem is I adopted an iterative solution in which I created a real valued function whose root corresponded to the solution, namely the interest rate of 2.015. And a future screencast will go into the details of how I implemented this program. As a final example, suppose I delete, let's say, two of the input values. So now we have two given quantities, the mortgage amount and the term in years, and two unknowns. What happens 
if I click the compute button? Well, I get a message saying invalid input. So that means that there was not enough information to get a unique solution to this problem. So anyway, thank you for viewing this podcast, and there will be more to come. Goodbye for now.